everyone, Janie here, and today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on how I made these three cards using In Love Arts three-piece combined heart background cutting dies and In Love Arts warm hearts words cutting dies. And I'll have links to both of these sets below in the description box, as well as a 25% off discount code for In Love Arts should you decide to shop there. So the first card that I'm making is a five and a half inch by three and three fourths inch, but you can do the same thing for a five and a half inch by four and a fourth inch card. And I chose to use white, pink, and red cardstock. And I love that not only do these dies cut the heart panels, but you end up with a lot of hearts that you can use on other projects or even in a shaker card. Now it's time to layer these, and I'm layering them with the smallest hearts in the back and then the next size up on top of that and then the one with the largest hearts goes on the very top but you can just layer two panels together if you would like to do that or just use one that's what's awesome about this set is that you have a variety of choices such as layering the one with the largest hearts on top of the one with the smallest hearts or just using the top two pieces or the bottom two pieces which i forgot to take a picture of so for my card, I'm using a piece of pink glitter paper from close to my heart and adhering that to the top of my card base that I cut to five and a half inches by three and three fourths inches because those heart panels are only three and three fourths inches tall. And I made two sets of the heart panels so that I could use them side by side on the front of this card. Next, I die cut Thinking of You from the Warm Hearts Words Cutting Die Set, and I gave it some sparkle using the clear shimmer brush from close to my heart. And I glued that on a red heart that I had die cut. And I also stamped, colored, and fussy cut that gorgeous girl image, and I am using foam tape to adhere both of these to the front of the card. And that is how easy it is to create this sweet card. And talking about sweet, this NYX card has a sweet shaker element, but I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on that in this video, so watch for one in a future video. So for this card, I'm using a 5.5 inch by 4.4 inch card base and a piece of red glitter paper from close to my heart. And as you can see, I used my favorite paper saving technique by cutting out the center since no one's ever going to see that. And I topped that with a piece of striped cardstock that I got from my stash, and it just happens to have all the same colors that I used for my shaker element. And next, I glued that shaker element right there in the center. And then I decided to use some of those hearts from the die cuts, and I used some 3D foam squares to pop them up. And last but not least, I used the You Are Sweet sentiment from the Warm Heart Words die set, and I cut that from the same red glitter paper that I had used for the bottom layer of the card because I thought that would just bring it all together. So after gluing that to the front of the shaker, another sweet and easy card completed. So, I was going to stop there, but I decided to show you how easy it is to make a slimline card with those dies, since slimline cards seem to be all the rage nowadays. This time, I used patterned paper for the top layer, and I layered everything together just like we did for the previous cards. I made two panels, and as you can see, they work great for a horizontal slimline card or a vertical slimline card. And again, I'm using close to my heart glitter paper on the front of my card base, and then adhering the heart panels to that. And the word dies I'm using this time are not from the Warm Heart Words die set. The Love die is from In Love Arts, and I'll put a link below to that in the description box. And the Hugs die is from Gina K. And I layered the words slightly offset to create a shadow and make them pop just a little. The and symbol is from a very old Cricut die set, and the heart was cut using a die from my stash, but if you look on In Love Arts, you will find a variety of heart-shaped cutting dies. So, I glued the and symbol onto the heart, and now I'm going to glue all of those pieces to the front of the card. I love the way that this turned out, and all of the colors that I used are actually colors that were in the patterned paper that I used for the top layer, so everything came together perfectly. I really love all the possibilities with that three-piece combined heart background die set, and these are just a few examples of how to use it. 
And I hope my cards have given you some inspiration. Don't forget, below in the description box, you're going to find links and discount code. And here on the screen, I have links to other videos that might interest you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.